Introduction to the Pulse Heat Unit Pulse Heat Unit is intended to solder electric components. Soldering is also called reflow soldering. It consists of a reflow head which holds down the object and applies pressure force and the pulse heat power supply which applies the current. What is pulse heating? How is the soldering achieved? Pulse heating is an instantaneous heating method. A method contrary to the pulse heating is the constant heating. A typical application of constant heating is the soldering iron. The soldering iron is always heated even when it is not melting the solder or when it is not touching the object. On the other hand, in the case of pulse heating, which is an instantaneous heating method, it is heated only when melting the solder. Next, how does the pulse heat achieve soldering? For soldering, a heat to melt the solder and a pressure force to hold down the object are required. First, resistance heat generation is utilized for heat. Resistance is a reverse force generated against the force trying to move forward. It generates a heat similar to the friction heat when a brake is applied. Similarly, when an electric current tries to move forward through the metal, a heat is generated because of the resistance by the metal itself. Pulse heating also utilizes this phenomenon. Electric current is applied to the iron to generate heat by resistance and the solder is melted. When the solder has melted, the current will be stopped and the solder is cooled. And when the solder is hardened, the heater tip is raised. In pulse heating, the soldering iron is called heater tip or heater tool. What does a reflow head do? The reflow head holds down the object to be joined and applies a pressure force. The section which holds down the object to be joined and generates resistance heat is called heater tip or heater tool. The size and shape of heater tip or heater tool are selected depending on the object to be joined. In some cases, the heater tip or the heater tool is fabricated to unique shape to match the object. Molybdenum or titanium is used as the material for the heater tip or the heater tool because the solder does not stick to the tool and it is easy to generate heat due to their high resistance value. The pressure force is applied. The head is structured in a way to enable pressure force change. An adjustment is made for the pressure force most suitable to the object to be joined. What does a pulse heat power supply do? The pulse heat power supply applies electric current to the heater tip. There are three types of power supply. General purpose type, large capacity type, and precision type. Features of Pulse Heating Method Because the control is made by feeding back the temperature by a thermocouple, it is superior in accuracy and reproducibility. Therefore, it is strong against environmental change or chronological change and operator skill is not required. Heat impact is reduced and it contributes to energy savings because of instantaneous and local heating. Highly reliable joining quality without lifting of the joint section is obtained because cooling takes place while the object is still under pressure. It is superior in versatility and productivity based on its flexible temperature profiling function. This completes the introduction to pulse heating.